In this video, we're talking about a risk assessment. Hi everybody, welcome to Studio Sec. Thank you for watching. Like this video if it's helpful, comment down below with your risk assessment stories, and subscribe for more content I'll be posting every week. A risk assessment is one of the first things that your organization should do on its cybersecurity journey. It can be one of the most illuminating things that you do. Risk assessments will provide direction for further cybersecurity operations. They will illuminate gaps in security and vulnerabilities, and they will also show strengths in your cybersecurity posture. Risk assessments will also introduce your organization to the risk management life cycle. Link right here. Risk assessments should become a routine. They can be performed annually, biannually, however your organization decides to do it. However, understand that risk assessments cannot be performed very often because they can be very time consuming. Also remember that your risk assessment needs to be comprehensive. We'll talk about what exactly this means here in a moment, but the main thing to understand is that your risk assessment needs to cover both the technical aspects from the different cybersecurity vulnerabilities you may have, the unsecure applications and operating systems you may be using, as well as understanding the processes that are going on in your organization. For instance, you wanna be intimately familiar with the lifespan of a document in your organization. Where does data flow in its lifetime? So overall, your risk assessment should marry both a technical risk assessment with a non-technical risk assessment to provide a comprehensive and large picture of your organization's risk. For the technical risk assessment, you're gonna to wanna to focus on things like your encryption, what kind of applications and services you're using, what ports are open, what channels information is being shared, as well as how your computers are managed, how your active directory is built, how user management is done. Things like that will give you a pretty good idea of what your technical risk looks like. Your non-technical risk assessment should cover your processes. For instance, like I said earlier, what is the lifespan of a document or a piece of data in your organization? When it is created, where does it go? Who handles the document? Who, you know, where does it travel? Does it ever go outside of the organization? Does it re-enter the organization? Does it ever get exposed to the internet or get exposed over an insecure channel? How long is data retained and where is it retained? Is it safe whenever it's at rest, whether it's in motion or whatever it's being worked on? For this, you're gonna to wanna to come up with all kinds of unique questions like, if somebody were to walk into your office building, what would they see? Would they be able to walk onto just a normal office floor? Could they see sensitive data being displayed on unattended desks? Could they find computers unlocked? What about critical infrastructure like what you would find in your server room? Can anybody walk in? Is there a robust security practice for uh, making sure that you're documenting who has access to that room and when they enter? Another thing would be policies. And uh, to learn more about policies, link right here. For instance, not having a policy can propose a risk of well, we don't have a policy telling employees that they can and cannot do certain activities. Remember, you wanna try your very best to take a holistic approach to your company or organization's cybersecurity. And of course, as you're performing this assessment, document everything. Remember earlier, I said that this needs to be a routine practice where you're doing this annually or biannually, and you may have uh, people in the organization that may not have been there during the past risk assessment. So make sure that you document everything. This will give you an idea on what you looked at before. It will give you uh, and, and new employees an idea of what they need to do to perform their risk assessment. As you document it, it may even allow you to illuminate different areas in your risk assessment that you may be missing, you know, and, and you know, allow you to give kind of an after action review of your risk assessment. Ultimately, you wanna think of your risk assessment kind of like an artist drawing a picture of a criminal based on the description from a witness. You wanna make sure that that description is as detailed as possible so that way you can hand over as detailed a picture to the police as you possibly can. Likewise, with your risk assessment, it needs to be as detailed as possible. You'll be handing this off to management and they'll be making important cybersecurity decisions based off of this risk assessment. That's why I think it's important that we separate the technical risk assessment from the non-technical risk assessment. A technical risk assessment will not cover everything about an organization. And likewise, a non-technical risk assessment will not cover all the risk in an organization. Your organization may already have a non-technical risk assessment process in place. 
However, the technical may be the piece that's missing. There may even be issues marrying the two into a comprehensive risk assessment. If you're a small business, this may be where you really need to focus your energy. Of course, once a risk assessment is put in, you need to, of course, be flexible with what changes are implemented next. Based on that risk assessment, it may require new processes being developed, new technologies being brought in, new training being issued. It may also require a lot of changes that may not exactly be comfortable in the moment. Remember, and this is kind of like a life hack, document this process. A lot of times, you know, we get busy and we forget to document what exactly we're doing but this keeps your organization from having to reinvent the wheel every time it does a risk assessment. Having a really robust documentation base can be a lifesaver. So with that, like if this video was helpful, comment down below with any risk assessment stories you may have, uh, and subscribe for more content. I'll be posting more videos every week. Thank you.